So this is Mama Pig here. And she has how many babies? Eleven. Oh my gosh. Hi, babies. And then next to her is... This Corky. is Corky. Okay. And she's got two little ones. What's the age difference? So the little Corkies are, I think... About two weeks old, and these guys are about eight weeks old. Wow. So they'll put on, on average, a pound, a pound and a half per day. And now you feed twice a day or once a day? We feed twice a day. Twice a day. They get breakfast and dinner. Breakfast and dinner, okay. So Corky was our first, uh, from our very first litter we had on the farm. Nice. And these guys are tamsworks? So the mamas are both full-blooded Tamworths, and the babies are half Tamworth, half Berkshire. Okay. And so we have two boars that are brothers, and so these litters are actually cousins. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that video that I had of her before? When we first moved her up? Oh, Mama Pig! Splashing her blood! <laughs> right before she farrowed, we moved her up. And we never, I'd never been able to get, like, even this close to her. Yeah. And, like, 10 foot was the closest I could ever get to her. And right before she was going to give birth, she, I guess, knew, I, I need you. <laughs> yeah. And so she let me get close to her and rub her belly and love on her. And, and yeah. now she's, she's, like, finally, after, like, 9, 10 months, really, become a part of the you know our family and yeah. is okay with us and messing with the piglets and everything she's been good with and that's great <laughs> they look pretty content here Gonna ring the dinner bell, Mama? No. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't flip all the way over, did she? Uh -huh. So it looks like they haven't missed many meals, so. No. Oh. So Pip, Roberta, Isaac, a big lazy dozer. Come on, dozer. I mean, she, it's just muscle. Yeah, that's an incredible. She's just... <laughs> and you said these are purebred Tamworths. These are pure Tamworths. So, uh, these are a heritage breed that are on the endangered list. Well, hi. Am I tasty? Yeah. And we should have kept this guy as a boar, I think. We decided against it. Now, how long have you guys been raising hogs? Uh, five years now, I think. Okay. All right. And this is, and it, so they got at least an acre here, don't they? Oh, I think the woods are two and a half or three acres. Okay. That's a nice, and they get to root around. You say, I find my okay. <laughs> I find my boots very interesting. And how old are these guys? These guys are five months old. Wow. And you said they gain about a pound and a half a day. Yeah. And how much do you think mom weighs? She is. We just uh, measured them the other day weeks ago. I think she's about 300, 325. Okay. And she's good looking. She wears she's 300 <laughs> very well. <laughs> yeah. So to get the weight, we don't have a scale. So what you do is you measure from a little red, the base of the tail to the top of the head when they're looking up. Okay. So you get that measurement and then you get the heart girth. Okay. And then you do all these calculations. Yeah. <laughs> and then it gives you an approximate weight. Okay. I've seen that done on elephants. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And how old is she? She is. I think she's 
think there's going to be two this year. Okay. All right. And and this is yeah. Trudy? Trudy, yeah. Yep, yeah. okay. And so we usually wait until they're a year old before we breed them. Okay. And so they'll they'll stay their gestation is um, three months, three weeks, and three days. I like that. And so she you know, she's at a year old, pretty much her adult size. Um, we feel like their bodies can handle, you know, producing milk and the stress of the pregnancy and everything. Okay. Some so these guys are five months old, some people will breed at six months. Ah. Which they just seem very, very tiny yeah. to me for that. So. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you let them mature and and uh. And what's nice is that Pip and Roberta will get to be around the little babies, like Corky was around um, her uh, Ger uh, Gertie's litter, and so she got, you know, kind of like to be a big sister. Uh huh. So when she had the babies, it wasn't a surprise. She knew how to take care right. of them. Right. And everything. That's nice. We're going to enjoy their day. Yeah. It doesn't matter how dry, uh -huh. or how hard the ground is, they'll just plow it. That's what I always liked about when I had pigs. I'd put them in my garden. Yeah. And they would plow it up for me. And I liked that they worked up all the manure in the pasture. Guys. Yeah. <laughs> Even the big mature ones are just not kind so of the big mature ones. What's interesting is when we first put them in here, not these pigs, when we first ever put pigs in the woods, there was just one huge section and they just I mean it was just turned up. And I was like, Oh my god, we are ruining the woods. And then I started looking at what was around and there were there was this circle of dead trees. And so in, in this giant circle, there had to have been just an amazing amount of bugs and earthworms and everything uh -huh. just feasting on. Nice. And then where the trees were alive, they'd root around, but not like what they did in this one section. Right. So it's kind of amazing. Like they knew yeah. right where to go and what to do. All right, those are. Hey, easy, buddy. <laughs> easy, buddy. Okay, Serena, so these are your Milking Devons? Yes. And uh, they're also a heritage breed? Yes. And, and you also have a belted Galloway out there. Yeah, more there. Lola. And she's got a calf, too. Yeah. Somewhere out there. And so, her daddy. And so wh what, what made you choose the Devons? Well, the American Milking Devon, they're a triple purpose breed. So they're good for milk, they're good for beef, and they're the best oxen that you can train. Okay, well, they're beautiful animals. Now, uh... Reddington is your herd sire there, but how big is he? Cause he looks, he's pretty handsome, <laughs> handsome boy there. He's, the bulls usually weigh in at about, um, I think it's 1,800 to 2,000 pounds. Okay. So he's, he's probably pretty close to a ton for sure. Okay, he's a good looking bull. And how many cows do you have then? We have seven. And the, the Devons are critically endangered, right? Yes. There's not many of them, so do you know how many other breeders are in Missouri? I think there are three others, four others now that I know of. Okay. We actually, last year we sold some of our heifers to a new breeder. So they're getting their herd started okay. as well. And then you also uh, do the farmer's market and Wildwood and... Wildwood, uh, we did the Shockley Market this year, the okay. Point Labity Brewery Market, nice. and then we do on farm on on farm sales as well. Okay, so you have fresh beef, and you also yep. raise the Tamworth hogs and yep. and uh, meat birds. Meat birds, yeah. So you you got a multi-purpose farm here. And yeah, we uh, try to get everyone to work together. The cows eat the grass, the chickens go and scratch up after them, and then when we need pasture innovations, we bring in the pigs to till everything up. That's that is a very it's a very sustainable farm too. You're uh, doing an excellent job here. These guys look pretty content today. It's a great day.
And you guys have a website? Yep, it's uh, stuartfarm.com. Okay, excellent. Red and his bangs, they crack me up. Hi, Reddington. Hi, you buddy. And this is Gertie? Gertie. And she'll be six? Six on Christmas. I gotcha. Aww. <laughs> Liking that belly robe. They like the belly, but I think because they can't scratch right there, yeah. they really like it right there. <laughs> I'd say this pig spoiled. <laughs> her paddock is the one that has the most walnuts. So she's oh. been feasting on walnuts for weeks now. Yeah, that's a good way to get them cleaned up. <laughs> 